take a Tiger One chassis, slam a naval mortar big enough to sleep in on top, then shove it into frontline combat, and you get the Sturm Tiger. Let's take it. Oh, wow, that was a great intro, but doggone it, I screwed up the next line. What can I say? By the way, I'm Old Dead Man, your host. Welcome to the channel. We're taking a little quick look at the Sturmwasser Wagen 6064 38 centimeter RW61, aka Sturm Tiger. So let's see what Gaijin's got in store for all of us. The Sturmwasser Wagen 6064 MIT. 38 centimeter RW61, aka Stern Tiger, was a self propelled gun produced by Germany in the late stages of World War II. Originally intended to be manufactured with a 210 millimeter howitzer, that idea ended up being scrapped when somebody figured out they didn't have any 210 millimeter howitzers. So a naval rocket mortar was redesigned for the purpose. Really, this vehicle was designed for knocking out well-fortified, heavily defended buildings in urban fighting. Somewhat like this. The first prototype was delivered in October 1943, and a total of 18 were built on rebuilt Tiger I chassis. Interestingly, they did not use new production Tiger bodies for this. Uh, that would slow down Tiger production at vital pieces of parts of the war. Instead, they utilized damaged units that were sent back to the plant for rebuild because, hey, they were heavily damaged. Stern Tigers fought in the Warsaw Uprising and the Ardennes Offensive. During the battle for the bridge at Remagen, the Sturm Tigers were unable to hit the bridge due to inaccuracy, but they did manage to hit a group of stationary Sherman tanks, destroying nearly all of them. In This is the only recorded instance of tank-on-tank -tank combat with this vehicle. An abandoned Sturm Tiger was captured in Bedburg, and another was captured at Duren after it got stuck in a ditch. Several Sturm Tigers survived the war, including museum pieces in uh, Munster, Germany, Kubinka, Russia, and Copenhagen, Denmark. Bovington Tank Museum has just the 380 millimeter gun, but not the associated vehicle. The Stern Morserwagen 606-4 mit 38 centimeter RW61 was 6.28 meters long, 3.57 meters wide, 2.85 meters tall, and weighed in battle ready at 65 tons, or about the weight of a modern M1 Abrams, for heaven's sakes. The Maybach HL210 TRM P4521 liter V12 engine produced 650 horsepower, though a more uh, uprated engine was used in later models of the Tiger, and if one had been made on that chassis, it would have had the better engine. But it only had a top speed of about 40 kilometers per hour. Good luck reaching it. It was armed with a 38 centimeter RW61 L5.4 naval rocket mortar and an MG34 machine gun. Armor was pretty darn thick for, at 150 millimeters uh, front, which I think was sloped at about 47-ish degrees, 82 millimeters on the sides and the rear. It was crewed by five men. By the way, roof armor was 40 millimeters. Uh, and one source does state that it takes 10 minutes to reload the gun. But don't you worry, in War Thunder... You're getting it for only 40 seconds if you have a fully aced crew. In War Thunder, the Sturm Tiger will be joining the German Rank 4 Premium Tree as a reward for an upcoming 10th anniversary event, which they have not specified yet. It will only be armed with the high explosive shell, not a shaped charge shell that was also an option for the vehicle during the war. What do you think of the Sturm Tiger finally coming to War Thunder? It's, it's a big one. It's going to be 
you know, if they'd kept it to historical um, specs, it would be entirely useless. You'd get one shot, and then you might as well J out. But with the 40-second reload, that puts it as, I believe, the highest reload rate in the game right now. And that means that even if you loaded it up with all 14 shells, you could uh, you could start holding down the fire button, and 9 minutes, 20 seconds into the match, you would fire your last shell. So let me know what you think of it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in War Thunder.